Hey guys, today I'm going to give you a walkthrough on how to assemble the C-Note Bookshelf Speakers Kit with the knockdown cabinets. First things first, let's drill holes where the speaker termination will be. Obviously there are plenty of options, so whichever one works for you. Next, set out all of the pieces of the enclosure and make sure all of the pieces are free from dust and debris. With the back panel laying flat, apply glue to the top and one side. Set those pieces together and use clamps to make sure that even pressure is applied to all glued surfaces. Grab a damp cloth and wipe away any excess glue on the outside and rabbited edges. Once these pieces are set and dried, come back and add the bottom and other side. Make sure to apply glue to all touching surfaces and be glad that you don't have excess dried glue stopping pieces from fitting properly. Again, apply clamps to make sure everything is secure and set it to dry. Lastly for the enclosure, add glue to the rest of the front baffle on the top. Clear off all excess glue and clamp it down and let it dry like before. When it's finally dry for the last time, feel free to sand them down and finish the enclosures however you prefer. Now the crossover can be tricky, so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys step-by-step -step instructions on the screen. Make sure to solder all the pieces properly, including the speaker wire leads needed to connect to the amp, tweeter, and woofer. Pour some Gorilla Glue on the inside bottom of the enclosure and place your crossover inside. After some time, you'll start to see the glue rise, locking in the crossover. Clip off and split your speaker wires, adding female disconnect crimps. Next, secure your porthole tube roughly at about 7 inches, that's recommended. Then screw it into the enclosure. Your terminals are next. Place them in the enclosure and secure them from the other side. Connect your two terminals wires, always making sure you correctly link the negative and positive. Next, do the same for the tweeter. And lastly, do the same for the woofer. Once the last screw is in, you're all done. Congratulations, you just built your own speakers. You can see more videos like this on our YouTube or you can see more kits and projects on PartsExpress.com.